Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sherry Horner and this channel is for women over 50 embracing and navigating the second phase of life. So um, today I was thinking maybe I should do a second garden tour and a lot of you have been asking for updates and wow things are growing fast but I want to ask you if you can think of a time where you planted a seed and it grew fast and it grew into maybe a business or um, a hobby a super hobby <laughs> and or if some sometime you planted something and it just didn't take off and you were wondering like why why didn't this work why didn't this work um, so a lot of times I remind myself to um, work and pray. You can't, um, or I can't, just pray for something to happen and not put any active energy into it. Um, and also at the same time, I can't just work to try to make something happen and like spinning my wheels if it's not uh, in alignment with what God wants for my life at the moment. So anyway, that's my... Um, reminder for myself to work and pray work and pray uh, take a step and pray a little bit and take another step uh, toward that goal uh, but planting seeds uh, is exciting because you can see but you can see your results but the bad thing is that things die <laughs> things come and go and and they grow slowly and then eventually die so that's that's the sad part but things are ever changing so that's why i want to give you an updated tour of my garden and uh, let's take a look at everything and see what's growing and, and what's uh, not growing so leave a comment below if uh, you have started a hobby or a garden or something that has evolved into uh, something that just really blossomed and you feel happy and blessed uh, and excited about it. I would love to hear your story and um, you can contact me if you have a story, women over 50, what you've accomplished uh, in life can inspire other women. If you have a unique fitness achievement story or a story of health recovery if you have started a business, written a book, whatever your story is, I'm sure it will inspire and motivate other women. So please contact me. I would love to interview you via um, Zoom and, um, the, and we can help uh, share your story and to empower other women. So uh, let's take a look at the garden. I'm so excited. Also, thanks again for subscribing and joining our community. And if you can give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. It helps uh, grow the channel. I appreciate it so much. Okay, let's take a tour. Okay, so this is early July and things have really grown up a lot in the last few weeks. So this is the garden from a distance. But I want to show you, this is the pumpkin patch and it has grown up so big compared to the watermelon patch. So you can see the planter with the hibiscus tree and the petunias. And then on this side, you can't even find the planter anymore. <laughs> you can see the hibiscus tree and the petunias, but um, in the next day or so, I'm gonna have to pull that planter out and put it in the garden somewhere else because it's just being swallowed up by these pumpkins, which was only three seeds. So let's take a walk through. Um, this is the lettuce and my uh, marigolds that I grew from seed on each side. And the one in the middle is a pansy that I bought. So the oak leaf lettuce I've already harvested a lot of that. Uh, and then the marigold in the corners uh, is, was store-bought, but I planted those to fight off those rabbits. And that we always see the bunnies running around our yard, but fortunately they stay out of the garden. I think those marigolds really help a lot. But this is the oak leaf lettuce and the baby romaine lettuce. So let's take a look at the pumpkins. Okay, so this just came from three seeds in the ground. Wow. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. And then 
I have the Mandevella that I got on clearance at Walmart for four dollars and the peppers wow have they have grown so if you take a look back at the first video in June then you can see how big everything's grown so the sunflowers we put into bigger pots because they were growing so big there's a few bees there and there's two different kinds here in this pot and this is my black eyed Susan Vine that I thought wasn't going to grow. So I started with 12 seeds. I ended up with two plants. I thought I just had one plant, but I ended up with two. And now they are in pots. There's another hanging planter on the other side of the garden. Here's my jazzberry petunia and sweet potato vine. And in the grow bag is the white potatoes. And there's another grow bag over here with white potatoes but this in the middle is a planter that my husband took some piping stuff and made this cut it down to make a planter so i have coneflowers in there and daisies that i grew from seeds so i don't know if the daisies are gonna bloom this year or not but all that should come back next year over here, oh, isn't this beautiful? So I have the cosmos that are just growing so big and the zinnias, all the different colors. I love it. And there's my other hanging basket with the jazzberry petunia and the creeping jenny. And then down here, I have more, um, I, that is the daisies and some other plants that I grew from seed that I have to pot up into bigger pots or put them in the ground somewhere. But I'm running out of space. Check out the sunflowers. Wow. So everything in these raised beds should come back next year. I don't know about sunflowers, but uh, the cosmos and the zinnias will come back. Look at that. Hello, big sunflower. All right, look how big. This is so exciting. I love my garden. And I hope you like it as well. So here's my hibiscus bush that I bought last year. And, you know, I just had a couple planters of flowers last year and I had this that I had bought I put in this planter and it did really well so that's what kind of got me started last summer just a couple planters on the deck and they survived all summer so I thought well let me try some other things um, over here is the, another white swan marigold I grew from seed and this is my dahlia which I grew from tuber Beautiful. Tomatoes, so I talk about these are the tomato plants um, that my husband bought because he likes the bigger the bigger <laughs> tomatoes. And so those are growing good. And the butternut squash. And then here are, are more uh, sunflowers. So I had those in smaller, like half barrel planters, but they were getting root bound, so he created these planters that will just stay there forever. <laughs> and I can plant different things in them year after year. But I just want to say hello to that sunflower. They're so pretty. And then again, another planter over here with sunflowers. So I bought these little solar lights from Dollar Tree. And it um, is nice and bright at night. So in another video, I want to show you what the garden looks like at night with all the lights, all the solar lights, and then the greenhouse. So I still have a lot of plants in here I need to give away. Um, I've been trying to give away as much as possible, but people are limited about where they can plant their, their plants. But um, 
Yeah, so I still have peppers, cauliflower, and tomato plants, and some marigolds, and the greenhouse. So, and then this is a cute little thing that my daughter got me for Mother's Day to kneel on when I'm working in the garden, but it's so pretty, I don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> and then uh, my solar lights that come on at night really light up the greenhouse, and that's exciting. So here's some um, rosemary that I grew from seed. So I have all this protection out here from from the mosquitoes. They don't like rosemary, they don't like marigolds. And then here's the other dahlia that I bought a two-pack from Walmart, two-pack of tubers, and I started them in the house under the grow lights, and then they got big and I put them in these bigger pots, but they were both supposed to be yellow, and this one is a little different, and it's, it's beautiful. I love the color, and I'm glad that I have two different colors now instead of two yellow ones. And these are mums that I had last year, and they're, they're doing great. I just put them in bigger pots. They were in smaller pots, so we'll see how they go. Again, I'm new at gardening, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I welcome your advice and suggestions. And um, so here are more sunflowers. And another little sunflower solar light. Uh, back here hidden, I have this um, planter that I just bought on Facebook Marketplace, and it has a liner but it got filled with water, so I need to drill holes in that. Uh, the reason it's back here is because um, I want to use it as a focal point next spring in the front of the garden um, with pots in it, flowers in it, before everything else starts to bloom in the raised beds. So um, it's just back there. So that's a project uh, for the future. And here are our cucumbers. So uh, we got uh, the first two yesterday and added those to salad that was really good and over here are my Roma tomatoes which are like the plum tomatoes and we got some action going on here and then in this half barrel I added these marigolds that I grew from seed and this one down here I bought on clearance at Walmart, so I just popped that one in there too. More sunflowers. Hello. Hello. And again, another planter that my husband created out of just some stuff that was trash. So I want to encourage you to um, try what you have to create some unique things. and. Uh, the cauliflower has gotten so big, it's um, not producing yet, but it will. I have high hopes. And again, another jazzberry planter. Um, I wanted that color in my garden because uh, I love it with the sweet potato vine. And then another planter over here that my husband created, and I added the cauliflowers that I grew from seed, so they're just starting to open up and we'll see how those do. And the green grow bag is the red onions and then sweet potatoes in this one. And up here, like that Susan Vine. Hello. Yeah, and you can see my little uh, shade area over there talk about that more in another video of all the goodies I've gotten from yard sale vines. Okay, watermelons. I'm so excited because finally we had a lot of rain, so there's a lot of weeds I need to get rid of, but I'm excited about the water watermelon vine. <laughs> I'm tongue-tied today because I uh, kind of was doubtful for a moment. I had hope but it didn't look like they were going to come up and grow and mature, but they're coming along, so I'm excited about that. I just um, still am new at gardening, 
and I kind of really wish that the watermelons would be that big. I want to enjoy watermelons before pumpkins, but um, nature kind of does its own thing. So this is my garden tour for July of 23, and I just love it. I just love the garden in the morning and how everything's growing. I just wish it would uh, stand still for a moment because I couldn't wait for things to bloom and it seemed like it was taking forever and then they bloom and some things die and you can see I've harvested some of the lettuce already and the sunflowers here that you saw in the first video okay so they're going out and you know, I just want to say again, I'm new at gardening, so if you have any suggestion with sunflowers, do I cut those off when they die? Do I deadhead them, or do I let them just be, and will more flowers produce? I don't know, but I welcome your suggestions, so comment below if you have any advice or suggestions about sunflowers. All right, ladies, thank you so much for subscribing, watching my videos, giving them a like, uh, a, a like, giving them a thumbs up, a like, uh, helps boost the channel and grow it. If you have a remarkable story that can inspire and motivate other women, please contact me. I would love to interview you. And as always, I want to remind you to try something new. Start where you are with what you have. And I'll catch you on the next video.